The Vauba Vicomte is a complex estate located near Maloon, France in the saint et marne department. Before being transformed into the marvelous estate which it defines today, it used to be solely another plain piece of land which would blend into the French landscape. However, after Nicolas Fouquet, the, the Viscount of Maloon and Vaux purchased the estate in 1641, the transformation would begin in creating the quoted finest chateau and garden in France. The Vaux Le Vicomte was a project in collaboration with three geniuses Floquet formally chose. Louis Le Vaux, the architect, Charles Le Brun, the painter and decorator, and André Le Notre, the landscape architect. With the construction period solely lasting from 1658 to 1661, the completed estate which resulted is a magnificent artwork. The Vaux Le Vicomte had its place in history for being a great center of fine feasts, literature, and arts and housed numerous artworks, tapestries, and other auxiliaries within its hallowed halls. For instance, Fouquet would regularly host the poet La Fontaine and the renowned playwright Moliere to perform at his cultural center. The spectacular scene of this cultural center consisted of many different yet cohesive elements. First and foremost, the most dominant feature in this estate of 5,000 meters in length is the chateau, which lies near one of the edges of the land. After walking through the wrought iron gates, the viewer is greeted by the chateau, which like many others is surrounded on three sides by a rectangular moat, with a bridge that serves as an avenue across the water. Additionally, the chateau is clearly symmetrical and is tightly joined together, which is further emphasized by the tall slate roofs, each capped by a sloping pyramidal cap. Furthermore, the chateau is laid out with a central block conjoined to, to and pavilions and two forward wings th that project forward. Near the rear of the structure rises a central dome salon capped by a dome which serves as a clear outlook point to the grand perspective of the vast garden of the estate. Seeing that the, the whole chateau is raised some meters upon a platform, the chateau serves as a perfect lookout point towards any part of the garden. The garden is a spectacular harmonization between the landscape and the architecture of the chateau created by the genius La Noche. The garden spans a long, time, a long line of perspective reaching almost a mile and a half and is innovative in its design. Streamed across the lands are a sequence of terraces forming an orderly composition to mimic the regular lines of the chateau, along with the balance between greenery from the flower beds, parterres, and shrubberies, counterbalanced by the element of water emphasized through the strategically placed lakes, fountains, and falling waters. Speaking upon the topic of strategy, Le Notre emphasized his genius in the position of his garden. Every viewer looking outward from the chateau experiences the sensation of being something as being only a few steps away, but being fooled by the optical illusion as the viewer realizes that these few steps are actually hundreds of meters away. However, it is not the effect of trickery that La Noche wanted to pursue, but rather enabling the viewer to be able to experience the whole of the garden in one glance, then being moved to explore the different aspects of the garden. Unfortunately, after Fouquet was imprisoned on account of mismanaged funds, the Vaux was left to become overrun and untamed after being sequestered. Yet a bright light shone for the Vaux in 1875 when Alfred Sonnier acquired the Vaux at a public auction. Consequently, under Gabriel Hippolyte de Steyer, the Vaux was able to be restored to its original state. To this day, his descendants continue to work on the preserving the Vaux Le Vicomte and it remains a private property owned by the Comte de Vogue, which constantly welcomes a vast amount of visitors which desire to take a glance into one of the finest works in history.